Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW aka Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday. Happy Friday. So it's another weigh-in day, workshop, topic recap, and of course we'll set some goals moving into the new year. It is the new year officially. This is the very first weigh-in of 2021. Can you even believe it? I don't know about you, but I am so ready for the new year. I have set some goals. I've done my vision board. I have my 2021 custom calendar ready to go. Speaking of custom calendar, I will link that down below for you guys. It is the first product of my small business that I released just a couple of weeks ago, and it's been a huge hit. So get your hands on one. It's a great way to track weight loss, activity, self-care, and even drinking your water. So it's all encompassing and customizable to you. So definitely grab yourself a custom 2021 calendar and thank you in advance for supporting my new small business. Also in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to my favorite things and my Facebook group. I'd love to have you join that community over there. I have tons of fun things up my sleeve moving into the new year. So definitely head on over to be part of it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy Friday weigh-ins. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, join my community. We'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. So we have our first weigh-in of 2021, a workshop topic recap, and let's talk some goals. let's talk a little bit about my week. I mentioned in last week's weigh-in that I made the executive decision to start actually tracking early. Originally, I was going to take the entire month of December off from tracking, just kind of intuitively eat, not worry about calories, protein, fats, fiber, points, but I decided that I was ready after the holiday to get back to tracking. I don't know if it's ingrained in my mind, or I don't know if it's just a piece that I can actually control tracking my food, but I was ready to get back to it after Christmas and I did just that. Starting on Saturday, I began tracking my food every single day, staying within my calories, focusing on points and eating healthy, and it actually ended up being an extremely good week when it came to food choices. Now, not such a good week when it came to activity. With the launch of my calendar, real estate, I closed a couple of houses this last week, and just getting caught up on all of the For the 2021 videos that I had to film, I didn't do jazzercise at all. I signed up for some classes, I just didn't make it. It's been crazy, and not to mention that our bathroom remodel is at a standstill because our quartz counters were cut incorrectly, so they have to be redone. It was just a week when it came to being really busy that there just wasn't room to put in any exercise, unfortunately. But I have some goals for this next week. The last thing I wanna talk about before we jump into the workshop topic is I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel because I officially hit 30,000 subscribers just this week and it was a huge, huge milestone for me by the end of 2020. So I'm so grateful that with two days to spare, I hit my goal. So thank you again to each and every one of you for supporting my channel. It seriously means the world to me. So now let's jump into what we talked about at this week's WW workshop. So we're still in the boundary series from WW. This was a four week series and I believe that this is week three of that. So this week's topic is revolving around setting some boundaries. Did you know that as human beings, we make upwards of 200 decisions every single day. And a lot of these are about our weight, our health, and of course the foods that we're choosing to eat. Planning what we're going to do in advance really, really helps contribute to success. For example, if this were to happen, this is what I would do. Or in this situation, this is what would happen. So today we're gonna talk about some of these in the moment scenarios that happen to us pretty much on a regular basis and what we can do to combat giving into these situations. For example, should I go ahead and just eat all the rest of the frosted sugar cookies so that they're out of the house? We're going to create a guideline ahead of time that's going to set us up for success for these in the moment decisions. WW has four tips for us on how to set up these guidelines so when we're in the moment deciding whether we should eat all the sugar cookies left in the house, we're gonna think about these four things before we dive into those cookies. So number one is pinpoint a scenario. Where are you? When are you there? How are you there? Why are you there? 
in these scenarios where you're often forced to make in the moment decisions. So what is the common scenario that you find yourself in to make these decisions? So for example, let's go back to our cookie topic. So instead of reaching for the cookies, we're in the kitchen. That's where we're at. Why don't we reach for something healthier, like an apple that will still satisfy the sweet tooth rather than going into the cabinet for the cookies. Number two is decide what you want to do. So pre-plan when you're put into these in the moment situations, what do you actually want to do? Maybe you're thinking that you want a little snack while you're watching TV and that's what led you to the cookies. What if you pre-plan to have an apple while you watch TV that night, therefore you've already made the decision for that and the cookies kind of are out of the equation. Number three is create a guideline. Set yourself up a guideline when you're making these decisions. Ask yourself two questions in the following sentence. That sentence is, when this happens, I'll do this. So fill in the blank of the this happens and what you'll do in that situation. So your version might be, when I sit down to enjoy my favorite TV show, I'll bring that apple with me. And number four is check yourself. Check yourself. Review your guideline to make sure that it's actually truly doable for you. It shouldn't require a lot of effort. It shouldn't be hard to stick with. It should really come as second nature for you. So I like this topic. I think it's important to plan, to really set up some guidelines, especially when you're put into these in the moment situations where you don't really have time to think. You need to have some skills under your belt to help you make the absolute best decision. So I think this is a great addition to the boundary series at WW. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. I told you that my week went really well. I didn't get any jazzercise in, but I will say that I did reach about five to 7,000 steps every day, even without a workout. So I wasn't completely sedentary. I just didn't get in the activity that I normally do. But again, my goal for this next week, when it comes to jazzercise, is to at least get in a couple of days, preferably three, but I don't want to overshoot my goals. I'm going to go for one or two days, Again, preferably three, but I would be happy to get in any workouts this week. I'm going to continue to track and to stay within my calories and my points. That is my goal for this next week. I really, really want to start 2021 off on the right foot. So getting back on track right after Christmas was a really good decision for me because when I stepped on the scale today, I am down 1.2 pounds, which is amazing. I was able to maintain my weight for the majority of the month of December and back at it and I'm down 1.2 pounds for a total of 50 2.2 pounds, which is amazing. Coming up this week will be my 2021 goals slash vision board video where I'm going to give you all of my goals for the next year and a weight loss goal is part of that. So definitely stay tuned for that video. So now I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Let me know how your week went. Did you get back on track after the holidays? Did you start January 1st? Just let me know how your December ended up and what your goals are moving into the new year. If you enjoyed today's weigh in video and workshop topic recap, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really just lets me know to continue to do these weigh-in videos every Friday in 2021. Whatever happened over the holidays happened. It's done and it's over with and it's time to move into the new year and start it off with a huge bang. In order to do that, I highly recommend my custom 2021 calendar. Again, I'll link that down in the description box as well as my nutrition coaching website, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Get all the support you can for your wellness journey in the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year. Happy 2021, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul.